Okay, hello everyone again. Um, today our lesson is on volume of a triangular prism. Okay, I kind of did a little funny. Toblerone is my favorite favorite triangular prism to eat, um, so I kind of put a funny picture in there. Okay, let's get started here. Okay, so again, what we need to know about the volume of a triangular or right triangular prism. Um, so every triangular prism, much like a rectangular prism, is going to have a base. It's going to have a length and it's going to have a height. So um, when we look at our formula for solving for volume, nice and big here, a volume is equal to base times width times height divided by 2. Or again, us mathematicians are lazy, and we probably won't want to write base times width times height every time, so we can write it B times W times H divided by 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do some examples now that we know the formula. All right, that's next next page here. Let's try an example. So, here we have um, a rectangular or a triangular prism. So let's go ahead and try this out. So, again, just like everything or all the all the marking we do, we want to write down our formula first. So, oh, I didn't that didn't work very well. Let's try that again. Okay, volume is equal to base times height times length, all divided by 2. Okay, so in this particular example, we have our base 19 centimeters, times our height, which is 24 centimeters, times our length, which is along 47 centimeters. Okay, perfect. And we can do this in our calculator. Oh, I almost forgot divided by 2. It's pretty important. Divided by 2, so we have 19 times 24 times 47, and that is equal to 21,432 divided by 2, and this is going to be centimeters cubed because we're timesing 3 centimeters, divided by 2, and we get a total volume of 10,716 centimeters cubed. So that's a pretty big, pretty big triangular prism here. Okay, let's try a more real life example here. Um, another. So this is a, a fish tank. I know it's a corner, but it's it's on the side just so we can see it a little bit better. Um, probably not a good idea to do that if it was yours, but let's start off with uh, writing our formula again. If you can't read these, um, we'll put them, we'll write them a little bit nicer. 15... 15 and 15. There we go. Okay, so we'll start off writing our formula, which is volume is equal to base times height times length, all divided by 2. We'll plug in our numbers now, so we get a nice little 15 centimeters times by 15 centimeters times by 15 centimeters, all divided by 2. And now we can figure out what that is equal to. So 15 times 15 times 15 is equal to 3,375 centimeters cubed. we still got to divide that by 2. So our total volume of our fish tank is going to be 160, so 1,687.5 cubic centimeters. So if we want to know how much water, uh, if you watch the rectangular prism video, you'd know that one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. So our volume, if we wanted it for water, is actually going to be 1687.5 milliliters. And there we go. Um, remembering, I'll just give you a hint here. On a test, any, in my class anyways, I would give one mark for writing the formula correctly one mark for plugging in the numbers correctly, and one mark for the correct answer for out of three marks. So hopefully this helps out um, and you can solve your problem.